American Alligator versus American Black Bear. Who do you think would win in an epic fight? The territories of these animals both overlap, and due to this, it is not uncommon for these beasts to interact with one another. For this video, we will be analyzing the Florida Black Bear and American Alligator. We will examine the topics of physique, dexterity, weaponry, and fighting knowledge to see who would win in a fearsome brawl. But first, we have to establish some ground rules. This fight will be between enraged males from both species, and fleeing is not an option. The setting will take place on a riverbank, so both animals will be on neutral ground. So, without anything further to do, let's get this analysis started. Size and Physique Black bears are the most common and widespread ursids in North America. This is because they are extremely adaptable to their environment. The Florida black bear lives in the forested habitats of Florida, which include oak scrubs, sand pine scrubs, and wetlands. They are omnivorous, feasting on the lush vegetation and insects their ecosystem has to offer. The Yasurdae build is famously known to be very tanky. Black bears have thick, brownish black fur with lots of fat covering their entire body. A typical adult male weighs around 300 pounds and stands about 6 feet tall on its hind legs. The skeletal structure and muscle anatomy of ursids make them have a great shock absorbing build. Also, its physique allows it to be a great grappler and a powerful striker. However, if you know anything about alligators, it's that they are extremely durable and do not care about pain. Remember the phrase, if it ain't broke don't fix it? That is certainly true about the order Crocodilia, which the alligator belongs to. The Crocodilian lineage survived on Earth for over 200 million years, so they must be doing something right. The American alligator is covered in thick scales and has bony plating called osteoderms running along its back. The tough hide of the gator makes it very good at countering sharp objects and deterring pain. However, they do have a vulnerable underbelly, but I doubt it could be exploited effectively given its much lower center of gravity. The American alligator inhabits the wetlands and freshwater rivers of the southern United States. They are hypercarnivores, eating just about anything they can get their jaws around. This includes creatures like crabs, fish, and yes, even other members of their own species. A typical mature male weighs around 500 pounds and can grow to about 12 feet long. So, the American alligator would have a length and weight advantage, but the black bear would have an edge in height. Both of these creatures have completely different builds. While the black bear has a fatty, shock-absorbing physique, the gator has a seemingly impenetrable defense. So, on the topic of which creature has a size and defense advantage, I would have to give a point to the American alligator. The black bear is no slouch in this category, but the gator has an overall size advantage that would give it an edge in this aspect. However, would having a better defense really be more important than dexterity? That brings me on to my second point, which is speed and agility. Even though the black bear's physique favors bulk and fat, they can move surprisingly fast. They are said to run up to 35 miles per hour in short bursts. This means that the fastest human beings alive today cannot outrun an angry individual. On top of that, black bears are pretty nimble given their grappling build. They're also really great at climbing trees and do not mind taking a swim every now and then. Bears in general are known for their great stamina, with some fights lasting more than 8 minutes. However, since black bears tend to be passive, their brawls are less violent and lengthy compared to brown bears, but they generally have the same stamina capabilities. Now, when regarding the alligator, they are the exact opposite. Gators are highly aggressive carnivores that have immense explosive power. Unlike the bear's build, an alligator's physique is very muscle dense, leaving little room for fat. And, unlike the black bear, gators are always ready to throw down for territory or food. Think about it like this. If you are swimming in a lake with the presence of an alligator around, you would more than likely get attacked. However, if you are hiking in the woods and see a black bear, the ursid would just ignore you or avoid you unless a mother has her cubs around. 
but being very muscle dense does make the alligator tire out quickly. Alligators are built for explosive movements rather than prolonged brawls. On top of that, they are quite sluggish on land. Their legs are significantly shorter than the Ursid, making them a lot less agile. This is probably making you think, what if the black bear attacks the alligator from the side? The initial mauling might not work since crocodilians are able to curve their body pretty easily, but repeated attacks could tire out the gator. So, for the topic of speed and agility, I would have to award the black bear a point in this aspect. On land, the black bear simply has every advantage in this topic, which includes stamina as well. Now, let's move on to the final aspect, which is weaponry and fighting experience. Black bears have surprisingly strong forelimbs, although they do not show their power often due to their timid and curious nature. They've been known to move several hundred pound logs and rocks for food. On top of that, black bears have sharp, curved claws that can grow between 2-4 to four inches in length. This allows them to dig through the ground, grip their environment, and of course for brawling purposes. The Ursid would have the initial reach advantage in a fight with the gator because it heavily relies on its forelimbs for attack. The black bear does have a respectable bite force of around 650 psi, but its usefulness in this fight is very doubtful. If the bear is within biting range, it would more than likely be within the range of the gator's superior jaws. However, the alligator's bite would be seemingly useless if the bear manages to tire it out before getting severely injured. Also, the wounds inflicted by the bear's claws would add up in the long run, causing heavy blood loss and fatigue for the reptilian. On the other hand, there is a reason why the crocodilian lineage survived on Earth for over 200 million years. This is because they are extremely good at what they do, which is taking down other creatures. They are hyper carnivores, so they have to actively hunt and kill prey. The alligator's jaws are perfect for this aspect, being composed of around 80 sharp conical teeth. The American alligator has one of the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom. Their bone crunching bite can measure up to 3000 psi. Just for reference, that's around 3 times stronger than a lion's bite, and can easily crush a human skull. On top of having a terrifying bite, the American alligator can also do a move called the death roll, which further injures any limb it grabs onto by twisting it violently. The gator's explosive power can also be used to thrash and shrug off threats from its opponent. So, for the topic of weaponry and fighting experience, I would have to give a slight edge to the American alligator. It has to actively hunt for food and has one of the most powerful bites in the animal kingdom. Alright, we have our stats. So, who would win in a fight between an American alligator and a Florida black bear? Let's say this fight takes place on a riverbank. It would definitely be a very interesting brawl to witness, but I would say the American alligator would win pretty handily. It overall has a size and defense advantage that would be very hard to overcome. Not only are its jaws significantly stronger than the black bears, but it most certainly would cause a fatal injury upon impact. The alligator is simply a more powerful creature whose main purpose is to kill other animals. The black bear solely relying on its claws and agility is not going to get it very far in a head-to-head -head confrontation with an adult male alligator. Sure, if the bear managed to tire out the reptilian, it would increase its odds significantly, but more often than not, in a head-to-head -head confrontation, I see the alligator being victorious. 